Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 27th of 2022. Well, it is Titan moon over Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of one of the seven large moons in the solar system. And that includes our own moon in the inner solar system and seven large moons, four all around Jupiter, one around Saturn and one around Neptune. So this is the large moon of Saturn known as Titan. And this is one that is very interesting in that it is the only moon of any moon with a significant atmosphere and actually has an atmosphere similar to Earth's in terms of density and thickness, uh, slightly different in composition, although it's mostly nitrogen, just like our own atmosphere. Uh, and it but an other thing would be it's also a lot colder being much further away from our sun. Now we see some of the haze there we can't really see easily see through Titan's atmosphere to see the surface. So trying to look at that can be a very difficult thing to try to see it's covered in clouds. So unlike Earth, which has clouds and then some gaps in them, this is completely cloud covered. Now, in addition to the atmosphere, Titan is also unique in our solar system and that other than Earth, it is the only object with a liquid on its surface. While other objects have liquids buried deep down below, this one actually has liquid lakes of liquid uh, methane on its surface. So it is the only one and has a really a similar in a way similar to Earth in that it has a cycle of methane in case of evaporation and rain. Now, not again, not water rain. The temperatures are far too cold for that. So we would never have water there, uh, the water would be frozen into rocks of ice because of the extremely cold temperatures. But at those temperatures, methane can be a liquid and we actually have rivers, lakes, and can have rain of methane from atmospheric clouds in many ways, just as we have with water here on Earth. So it's one of the reasons that Titan is one of those objects in the solar system that we look at as a possibility for having life, uh, having life on it. Now, why is that? Well, we think some kind of liquid is needed to be able to encourage the chemical and biological reactions that formed early life here on Earth. So we think that that would be likely on other objects as well. And since this is the only other object in our solar system with a liquid on the surface, it means it's one of those ones that we consider. The other main one would probably be Mars. Mars does not have a liquid on its surface currently, but did in the past. We know that Mars, which was a much wetter world many billions of years ago, before it lost its atmosphere and dried out completely. So a couple of things that we look for there. Now hiding behind Titan, we see parts of the planet Saturn. Now we're only seeing a small portion of it and you can actually see parts of the rings there, uh, one going through Titan and others down below, uh, where we can see a lot of the details and intricacies of Saturn's rings. So that was our picture of the day for May 27th of 2022. It was titled Titan Moon over Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.